to show you where I'm at in the shop today. This is my 20 year old bench. Um, I paid a lot of money for it. I just put it back together and I'm going to get in shape. It's got the leg lifts and it's got a cantilevered leg press. And of course it's got about I don't know, 200 pounds of weight on it. But then we come over here and this is the bike I want to get ready for this spring because to tell you the truth all my friends out there in the world I don't know what's going to happen with uh, everything in the way it is I'm going to get in as much riding as I can so I've got um, the big Tata on there I just put on the, the big Tata um, intake, I haven't tried it yet. Right next to that is a Sudco 32 millimeter. It's, it's a huge carburetor, whatever it is. And um, I haven't run it either. And then, let's see. Over the front, I got this nice radiator system that I'm trying to make work. It, it's a good deal, but with these um, Honda Dio's or Elites, it, it's very hard to. You only have so much room, and that's just it. And then of course, I have my big um, Fondier pipe. If any of you, if you can get a hold of one of these, now I'm not going to tell you what it costs because um, it uh, you'll have a heart attack. But I want to tell you what's the fastest pipe I've ever seen in my life. And the neat thing about it is, I couldn't find this, but it also comes in blue. Like the blue on the bike, here, on the, on the bike panels. And so why ILS, um, I, think, I can't think of the name right now. It's, um, anyway, it's the best pipe I've ever had, and it's probably worth about half it costs about half as much as I got everything in the bike but if I could get another one of these I'd do it thank you Steve that's my main man out of uh, main bro brother out of uh, Hawaii I gotta go over to Hawaii and see those guys too and I've hooked up special light for the um, right next to the cylinder head temp. This is really good to have is one of these on your bike because it'll let you know what your bike idles at. It should idle between 180 and 200 for uh, water cooled and then get up to about oh, 250 to 3 when you're really putting the hammer down and then when you let off the throttle here it will uh, it goes down but you want to make sure that you don't ever go up into 350 400 range um, you go over 400 for any any amount of time you're gonna you're gonna see the piston and the, what, what that'll tell you if you have something like this in your, on your bike is that you may have a water leak underneath here that you're driving along and you cannot see but that cylinder temperature head unit right here it's right here if that thing goes nuts on you, then you know that uh, um, you got a problem. You got you just have to shut it down right now. Then the one more thing I have to put on the bike. I haven't. I've had it for two or three years. Is you'll notice this is all stock right here. The stock rotor and all that's in good shape and everything. I've got a damn it. I almost hooked myself. I've got an NYC rotor over here. And it's, it's a nice little setup, except the only problem is all the directions are in, like, Canadian or something. And I, I, I don't want to hook up the wires wrong, because I, I don't want to blow it. It's expensive. But once I get the bike in good shape, where it idles okay, I have good um, acceleration from zero to half to half to full speed, then you start making the little tiny adjustments. You don't want to... If you're going to build an engine, you don't want to throw on a new pipe, new intake, 
uh, new electronics, new everything, and try to um, define it from there. You want to get it to go, you want to get your carburetor all set here to go uh, I'm, I'm a little man, it's hard for me to think right now. It's kind of cold in here in the shop. I'm way up in the Thule's next Canada. A. Canada A. I love Canada. It's great. It's a great place. They've got all these cool highways up there and there's nobody on them. I mean, they're in perfect shape. Wish we had their roads down here where I live in the U.S. So we, uh, when I go to put this in on the carburetor, this line right here, throttle cable, I'll put it in just generic 50-50 where I think it should go. From there on, I'll change the, uh, the needle jet size here or the brass jet in it. Just depends. And luckily, I was able this winter um, through a company, this is called uh, Scooter Turning Tuning CA. I thought it meant California. It doesn't. It means uh, Calgary, I believe. It's out of Canada. And all of my panels right here, if the bike is over 10, 15 years old, they'll stop making parts for it. These panels are no longer made anymore. They sell them. They sell them a right and a left panel. They're over 200 bucks a piece for right and left. If, but you can't get them out of um, any of the parts places anymore. They just don't make them. So what I did was I went to that scooter turning um, Well, I can't, I can't take them out, but there's a right and a left panel, for, uh, and it's black. You can get them in black, blue, green, whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me because I'm a painter. I'm going to paint it this color anyway when I go to do it. But the one thing about taking these, these bikes apart, so and I, I'm sorry, my bike's a mess right now, but I'm in my 60s and I'm... I'm just not moving as fast as I did at 17, but I'm trying. And if you take these panels off over and over and over again, they just kind of wear out. You may find them on eBay. A lot of times though, what the guys will do is, if you want to get a parted out bike on eBay, somebody has dropped the bike, skidded it, ran it off a cliff or whatever, and most of these side skirts everything else are gone not gone they're just destroyed so then they sell all the rest of the parts but it's a really small cool parts that you want to try and find so that's where I'm at <coughs> right now and then of course I use my these are Molossi uh, Kevlar belts that I use Molossi and there's there's a few different kinds this is a Molossi Kevlar belt for a uh, Honda Dio or Elite, whatever. It's all European, so everything in Europe is a is a Dio. These right here, there's one there and there's one up here. These are Honda Ruckus radiators. A few years ago, I thought maybe I could get a couple of these off eBay and see if they would work on my bike the neat thing about those radiators is that they fit right down here the fan fits over that okay and then, then right in front of it is the radiator so the fans suck an air through the radiator and it's a, it's a really neat little setup but when you're running this many cc's I really can't tell you how many cc's it is because I don't want to scare you. All I can say is, Dio Speed Demon, the man is larger than life. Rock on.